Can I remind members that if the amendment in the name of Russell Finlay is agreed to, the amendment in the name of Martin Whitfield will fall. And the question is that amendment 11143.2 in the name of Russell Finlay, which seeks to amend motion 11143 in the name of George Adam on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau setting out a business programme, be agreed. And members should cast their votes now. The vote is closed. Point of order, Kenneth Gibson. I would have voted no. Thank you, Mr Gibson. We'll ensure that's recorded. The result of the vote on amendment number 11143.2 in the name of Russell Finlay is yes 29, no 81. There was one abstention. The amendment is therefore not agreed. And the next question is that amendment 11143.1 in the name of Martin Whitfield, which seeks to amend motion 11143 in the name of George Adam on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau setting out a business programme, be agreed. Are we all agreed? The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we'll move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. The vote is closed. The result of the vote on amendment number 11143.1 in the name of Martin Whitfield is yes 49, no 63. There was one abstention. The amendment is therefore not agreed. And the next question is that motion 11143 in the name of George Adam on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau setting out a business programme be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. Thank you. The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we'll move to a vote and members should cast their votes now.
The vote is closed. The result of the vote on motion 11143 in the name of George Adam is yes 64, no 30. There were 19 abstentions. The motion is therefore agreed. The next item of business is considera consideration of business motions 11144 on a stage one timetable and 11145 on a stage one extension. And I ask any member who wishes to speak against the motions to press their request to speak buttons. And I call on George Adam on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau to move the motions. Thank you, President Officer. I'm moved. Thank you, Minister. No member has asked to speak against the motions. Therefore, the question is that motions 11144 and 11145 be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The motions are therefore agreed. The next item of business is consideration of five Parliamentary Bureau motions. And I ask George Adam on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau to move motions 11146 on approval of an SSI, 11147 and 11148 on designations of lead committee, 11149 on committee membership and 11150 on office of the clerk. All moved, presiding officer. Thank you, Minister. The question on these motions will be put at decision time and there are four questions to be put as a result of today's business. And the first is that amendment 11127.2 in the name of Russell Finlay, which seeks to amend motion 11127, in the name of Siobhan Brown, on cash back for communities, be agreed. Are we all agreed? No. The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we'll move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. The vote is closed. <laughs> the result of the vote on amendment number 11127.2 in the name of Russell Finlay is yes 49, no 63. There was one abstention. The amendment is therefore not agreed. The next question is that amendment 11127.1 in the name of Katie Clark, which seeks to amend motion 11127 in the name of Siobhan Brown on cash back for communities, be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The amendment is therefore agreed. The next question is that motion 11127 in the name of Siobhan Brown as amended on cash back for communities be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The motion is therefore agreed. The motion as amended is therefore agreed. And I propose to ask a single question on five parliamentary bureau motions. Does any member object? No member objects. The question is that motions 11146 on approval of an SSI, 11147 and 11148 on designations of lead committee, 11149 on committee membership and 11150 on office of the clerk in the name of George Adam on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The motions are therefore agreed. And that concludes decision time. Shona Robinson, uh, Deputy First Minister, point of order. Presiding officer, uh, further to the point of order made by Douglas Ross last week, 
the UK COVID inquiry has asked us to set out in more detail the full timetable of requests for information of the Scottish Government further to my statement last week. So today the Scottish Government has answered a GIQ on this matter, setting out the timetable as requested, and I wish to bring this to the attention of the Chamber. Thank you, Deputy First Minister. It is not a point of order, but the Chamber is now aware of the existence of the Government-initiated question. Decision time is concluded, and we are going to move on to members' business, and I would be grateful if members who are leaving the Chamber were to do so quietly.